done. I've welcomed you before. This time I really need your help. Um, June 14th on Monday, our Chisholm Creek Roses Banks, 30 feet in an hour. Uh, no flood insurance, nobody has in Oklahoma. We've lost everything downstairs. We have, we're a school, you know, you guys know that. Keystone Adventure School and Farm. Uh, we've got about 55 kids who are wanting to be here next year for school and we've got to get this place ready for them. Uh, we're, we've got a big crew, volunteers, all some pay, incredible people giving us donations trying to help us out to get this thing going, but we really need your help. I know I've come to a lot of you before and because I can't have school without you. I mean, we're a little bitty school, and I can't do this without your help, and I've come to you, and I'm coming to you again. Um, I still got to raise the money I got to raise to bridge the gap between tuition and what it costs to run this place. This time, I got, a, I got another 150, 200,000 on top of that, just to cover our costs for stripping this place down, cleaning it up, spraying it, making it safe for the children, and then making it a place where they can come back to school. You know, we're all about kids. The Keystone, it's kids first. So that's our priority. That's what's driving our mission right now, is our mission is to get this place back to where our vision can be real for the children. I need your help. Um, anything you can give is going to make a big difference. Everybody's reaching out a little bit together makes a lot at the end of the day. We've got a new website, a new web address. It used to be keystoneadventureschool.com. Now, we've changed hosts and we're keystoneadventureschoolandfarm.com, just like our name. And if you'll go to that, there's a new kind of temporary website and on every page of that website, there's a place where it says, we need help, click here. So click there, it'll take you to the Save Keystone page of that website. We've got it set up so you can click on the donate button. It'll take you immediately to PayPal. You can, you can donate via credit card. If that's not your style, that's cool too. Because if you need us, my phone number, my, uh, you can email me right there, I can get you. And, and uh, the phone number for my phone number is 405-625-5599. That's my cell. I'll be happy to talk to you. <coughs> Sorry, it's a little dusty. Um, what happened here was unbelievable. You know, if it had just been clean water, we could have cleaned this place up and been ready to go. But when the, when the potholes blew their lids off and the Oklahoma City sewer contaminated the creek, we had got sewage in the house. And we call it the house because it's our home. It's our home for these kids. You know, I, I was telling my children the other day that I was like, it, you know, I was so sad for the families and the folks that have lost their homes in this flood. And I said, at least it's not our home. Those poor people have lost their home. And one of my children, my 12-year-old, said, Mom, that school, she went here from, until fifth grade, that school is a home to 55 children every day, all day. That's their home. And I started thinking about it, and she's right. This is home those children. I was thinking about it and I was thinking you know how the kids our kids are so amazing and we're all about process well hello here's the process right here we've been praying for team building we've been praying for community we've been praying for you know to get things cleaned up and get a good st fresh start we got it okay but our children understand that process learning is what is real and that mistakes are what make you successful and learning from those and it's what you do with that stuff and here we go we got a giant mess but it's not beyond our scope because of the people who are involved our children you know that the old adage the nut doesn't fall far from the tree I figured out the other day really for our kids and their parents it's backwards the tree the parents don't fall far from the nut our children are inspiring their parents every day to make their world better, to make the children's world better. And it starts right here at Keystone. You know, the kids' favorite song is Rise Up Keystone. I've got on my Rise Together t-shirt from the Thunder. You know, how about that Thunder? They, it was like David and Goliath, you know? 
And that's who we are too. We're a tiny, tiny school full of children who need us. And because of who we are, we can create an environment where children who struggle everywhere else can come here and find a home all day and get to be a kid. We hold child, sorry. We hold childhood sacred. The animals are safe. John and Jared and Emily saved the children that day of the flood. They had to swim out the door without holding on to those children. They saved the animal, they had to swim into the pens, the animal pens, and save the sheep and the chickens. And the horses just ran a lot like chickens with their heads cut off. But it, the water has subsided. Go on, when you look on that website, you'll see what it looked like after the water began to subside because John couldn't pick up the camera and he was holding on to children. I need your help. The children of Keystone, the now and future children of Keystone need your help. And together we can do this. It doesn't have to be a lot from one source. But think about what you can do. I had one of my staff members, my faculty members call me today. She doesn't make any money. We, teaching, you don't do it for the money. She called me and she was in tears and she said, Jenny, I can't even come up there. I'm so upset. But I want to give $100 out of each one of my paychecks for the next four paychecks. Now, that's a lot. That means a lot to me. She's a single mom. She lives by herself. She's given up something to help us. We can do it. You know, Oklahoma is amazing. That's why Keystone is in Oklahoma. Because Oklahoma, it's like, it's like I guess it's the big sky or something. We've got this giant sky that our ideas have so far to go before they run into an obstacle. And that's what we think about these children. Don't let anybody else define you. We're not gonna let this flood define us. We're gonna rise above. We're gonna rise up Keystone, and we need your help. Thank you so much.